This is Apple's dedicated to all the teachers that told me I never amount to nothing. To all the people, the little brother buildings I was hustling for that called the police on me and I was trying to make some money to feed my daughter. To all the people of this record, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, baby, baby. It was all a dream. I used to be if you know anything about Robert Holmes, you know that he was a slave who stole a Confederate Navy ship and surrendered it to the Union Army. What you don't know is that he became the most famous black man in the world. Good day, good people. It's your mail carrier, QT Dub, with another video for the independent mail. This weekend, I happened to check out an ad on Facebook that I was pretty excited and happy to see. I know typically nobody's happy to see ads, but I was in this case. Uh, this ad came from the good people at Legion M. If you're not familiar with Legion M, they're a production company basically comprised of Hollywood, some Hollywood actors, directors, producers that want to put out some projects that may not be something that the big studios in Hollywood are willing to put money or backing behind. Uh, because it is what they do is they kind of make a big pool or catalog of current independent films or whatnot that they want to put together and they allow fans to help crowdfund these projects by buying shares in the company. For what I understand, currently these shares are not traded on the exchange. They're privately held shares. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to the uh, company, to their website, so you can see more information about it. Um, and that's as far as I'm going to get into it right now because I haven't done my full research on it. And of course, I'm not here giving out financial advice, but I will say this. I am considering um, investing and in getting shares. And if I do, what I'll do is I'll probably update that on the channel uh, monthly or quarterly just so you guys can know how it's going. Um, but anyway, the project that caught my attention was called Defiant and it's the Robert Small story. So right quick, we kind of have a mini um, little trailer uh, that they did. So let's check that uh, check that out and see what you guys think. My name is Rob Edwards. I'm the writer of Defiant. Before that, I wrote a movie called The Princess and the Frog, Treasure Planet, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Full House, In Living Color, a bunch of stuff. Anytime anybody does anything in any movie, you try to find what is the heart behind it, what's, what's driving it. For me, this guy was trying to make the world a better place for his family. This film, Defiant, has become a huge purpose of mine. My name is Marvin Jones III. Many of you may know me from Black Lightning, Harry's Law, Enter the Spider-Verse. The Robert Small story is, to me, a complete American superhero story. In some context, he's captain. Others, he's congressman. I grew up hearing about Grandpa. My name is Michael Boulware Moore. I really have a cellular connection um, to the story about my great-great-grandfather. Came the night of May 12th of 1862, he got his family and the family of all of the enslaved crew on a 140-foot gunship, and they stole it. It was more than the heist of a ship. It was a heist of freedom. My name is Bill Duke, executive producer of The Final. What made me personally want to get involved with this project was the overall message of the story. It's, it's not just about Captain Small's life, but it's about who he was and what he overcame. They make him the captain of the vessel, first African-American to command a United States naval vessel, to being the most senior African-American to serve during the Civil War. He fights in 17 battles. He's present when the Confederate colors are finally struck at the end of the war at Fort Sumter. Becomes hugely famous. P.T. Barnum has him give speeches because he was that big a draw. It broke so many stereotypes about what enslaved people could do, who they were. He started a railroad. He ran for Congress successfully many times. He is the reason why we have a public school system. He's the reason why black people are in the military. To top it all off, the guy was a badass. He actually bought a mansion that he was a former slave in and kept the slave owner's wife in her own place at the mansion and took care of her for the rest of her life. Only a superhero could have that type of empathy, that type of humility, that type of forgiveness. Come on, man. How can you not be inspired by that story? Most of us in our community, we know all about Biggie Smalls, but hardly any of us know about Robert Smalls. That's the reason for the thumbnail and the little intro I had at the beginning of this video, because this man's story 
is so amazing, so inspiring, and so important to get out. I'm not even gonna sit here and be on a soapbox like I've known about Robert Smalls all my life. It's 2023, I just learned about him three years ago, 36 months ago. To be specific, it was during COVID. My daughter and I were locked, um, of course, you know, on lockdown. School was out for them, and we were still wanting to do something productive. And actually, her mom suggested we watch a PBS documentary called Changing or Many Rivers to Cross, I believe. And that was when I learned about um, Robert Small. So immediately when I saw that ad this weekend, I was like, I know that guy and I know that story. And I was very excited to see it come out, uh, especially since, you know, a lot of us, the reason we don't know about these figures is sometimes it's A, we don't do our own due diligence and research, and B, we don't learn about it in school. All we learn about in school are the same handful of people, Martin Luther King, again, great reasons, you know, people to learn, and Malcolm and, and Garvey and George Washington Carver and these um, individuals, but it's the same individuals. We don't learn about the Robert Smallses, and, and I know that there are numerous amounts of these stories. So anyway, I was just excited that this was coming out. So you guys, I'm going to drop the links in um, to the this trailer to um, Legion M and also even to the PBS uh, documentary because it, it, it included a lot of other stories besides just Robert Smalls during the Reconstruction period, um, all the way going to Tulsa, um, all of those things. So. If you got time and uh, it's a good, good uh, bit of information to check out, but just wanted to drop that for you guys till next time. Peace and stay informed.